A traditional Thanksgiving vegetable is baked squash. I give it an Italian flair by making it into lasagna. Layers of sweet butternut squash puree and lasagna noodles are bathed in melted cheese and creamy bechamel sauce. Spice up your side dishes with butternut squash lasagna. Before I start assembling my lasagna, I want to make the creamy bechamel sauce. I start by melting a quarter cup of butter, and then I whisk in a quarter cup of flour. This is what thickens the sauce. Then I gradually add three and a half cups of whole milk and bring it to a boil. It's important to whisk constantly until it's thick, so you don't risk burning the bottom. Ground nutmeg is the perfect holiday spice, and it goes really well with the butternut squash. Once it's thick, I place half the bechamel into the blender. Cool down a bit. Then add fragrant basil leaves, about three quarters of a cup. Look at that beautiful pale green color. It goes back into the pan, gets a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna let my basil bechamel cool down just a little bit more and I'm gonna finish up the butternut squash. And the butternut squash I peeled, seeded, and cubed, and cooked in a little bit of water. So now it's time to season it. I'm gonna season with a little salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And now for my secret ingredient. Now, I'm gonna add three Amaretti cookies. We're gonna crumble them right on top. And I know it sounds really weird that I'm adding cookies to my savory lasagna, but they add sort of a spicy, sweet taste and give you a little crunch because they're very airy and crispy. So when you bite into the lasagna, you'll feel a little bit of crunch and those are the cookies. And trust me, I'm telling you, it's wonderful. So now I'm gonna puree the whole mixture. Everything's getting silky smooth, but the Amaretti cookies are still gonna keep a little bit of their texture. We've got a nice, smooth texture. See, nice and smooth. Okay, now we're ready to layer our lasagna. I've buttered my baking dish already. I wanna add the basil bechamel on the bottom, just so the noodles don't stick. Use the back of the ladle to spread out the bechamel. I am gonna add my lasagna sheets. And what I'm adding is our no-boil lasagna sheets, which means I didn't have to pre-cook them. They're gonna absorb the liquid, the bechamel and the liquid from the puree of butternut squash, and they'll cook that way. And believe me, they work perfectly. And it's one less thing to do. Put three sheets on the bottom, and we're gonna add the puree of butternut squash. And the colors are fantastic because you've got a pale green from the bechamel, and then you've got this orange color from the squash. It's so festive and so perfect for Thanksgiving. A little more bechamel, just like that. Some mozzarella, because of course that's gonna make it cheesy. And more lasagna sheets. More butternut squash. Okay, now, some more basil bechamel. mozzarella cheese. All right, I'm gonna finish layering my lasagna. I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil and put it in a 375 degree oven for 40 minutes. Then I'm gonna take the foil off, add a little more mozzarella and some Parmesan cheese, and I'm gonna bake it for another 15 minutes until it gets golden brown on top.
Look at that, golden brown on top. It's creamy and cheesy. Perfect. 